All right, guys, this is um, a video how to clean out the bottom of your washer. Um, this is just the bottom washer arm, sprayer arm. Um, in the bottom here, this is where I already took the screw out. Um, I'll show you that real quick. Uh, here's a screw. Um, I just have a little hex tool that I use to get that out. It's hard to see on the back here, but you're going to use um, a flathead screwdriver to go ahead and um, kind of pop it, the sprayer arm out of place to get it out. My phone's falling all over the place. Sorry about that. I need to invent something that's a, uh, or buy on Amazon or something that can, you can clip your phone on your head. Um, although I'm not sure that would, the quality would be too good. All right, here's where I had the Phillips uh, or the screwdriver already in place. So I just kind of will pull it and it pops right off there. So see, I'd take that um, bottom sprayer arm out. It comes off and just set it aside. And this is where, see that little tab there? You just kind of pull it um, and that's how the, it pops out. And you, as you can see, it's kind. Of, this is the filter screen here. It's kind of junky. Um, so we'll just spray some, I have like a bleach cleaner that I kind of just spray it all in. Sorry about the knife there. <clears throat> um, it's a fantastic bleach cleaner. If you've seen in one of my other videos, I use it too for my shower curtain. Um, if there's little spots on it. All right, so we'll go ahead and spray this off here. And just use some warm water. Kind of drench it, get it cleaned off. Um, if there's some items inside of it, you, you know, it'll come out through this little opening here. Um, I'll show you that in a sec. Um, but the main reason I, I clean the bottom of the dishwasher, say there's something, if say it's backing up, there's standing water in the dishwasher, um, it could be something clogging up down in there. And there's a little hole there um, that you can clean out as well. Um, but the big reason we clean it out, or the main reason, is every few months or every month, depending on how often you use it. Um, you know, dishes may start to smell kind of stale or when you open it up after you wash things. Um, it doesn't have that, like, clean smell. It just it has a clean smell, but it's kind of a, like a little, like, musty or something. Something's off. So this little grate here, it has two retaining screws. You can take those off um, and clean under that, too. I, I've done that recently, so I'll just show you it here. That's a little ball down in there. You're going to want to keep that in, in there. It's not a ping pong ball that got in there by accident. Um, that's supposed to be there. So we actually had a repair guy come by. I don't know. He just was a standard service guy, but he took that out and he said, oh, wait, you know, we need to, this was what was causing your problems. And I said, no, that's supposed to be in there. So I had to go put it back in. I didn't, I said I'd do it. So, um, so this just reconnects here, that little um, plastic hose piece and the screw goes back in here. I just use my little multi-tool to, it just fits right on these here. I'm not sure if that's the case in every dishwasher, but um, <clears throat> it worked perfectly for this one, so I was able to use it. So there we go. I'll just tighten it here. Um, and it, this usually takes me, I did some edits for the video here, but it can take anywhere from 15 to 20 minutes to do. Um, if it's your first time, um, I'd put away at least 35 minutes just to make sure you're kind of looking at everything. And, um, but it's not too difficult. Um, definitely worth it, you know. It'll give you a month or two, a few months of, you know non-musty, weird-smelling dishes, so definitely worth it. And here's the sprayer arm. I, I went ahead and sprayed off that, any crevices <clears throat> inside that, just why not, um, in case food got in there or something. Um, of course, if the outside is dirty, you'd want to wipe that off, but this one's pretty clean. It's still going to spray that bleach cleaner and the 
help with any smell. Um, if this helps out, guys, uh, go ahead and press the like button. We'll get more videos up here. And I'm getting water all over myself here, but that's fine. So I'm just going to shake that off here. And we'll put that back in the dishwasher. There we go. I'm just going to shake it off. So we'll go ahead and pop that back in. It, it just basically set it back down in, and then you kind of just press it, and it should pop back in. That little retaining plastic piece will give it a pop. So um, hope this helped out, guys, and um, click, click like and su subscribe.